we are officially in YouTube mode. This is Challenge Rift 295. Now, don't forget, most likely next weekend, the Season 28 is going to begin. And you want to make sure that you create a seasonal character. Don't do the Challenge Rift next week. We're still waiting for confirmation on Season 28 start. But don't do the Challenge Rift when it's Season Week. Make sure that you leave the Challenge Rift. Create your seasonal characters. Then once you've created a character and like you need to name it, create it, make sure it's active. Then come back to the challenge rift, complete the challenge rift, and then you can go onto your seasonal character and claim the cash rewards. It's a massive boost to a level one character at the start of a season. But this week we're safe. It's definitely not going to be starting this week. In fact, we're waiting for season 27 to end. So we're good to go. You can click on the uh, Soul Mirror to reveal everything we need to know. It's a six-piece Natalia. Old school Natalias. This isn't the Spike Trap build that's going to be coming up in Season 28. This is old school Natalias with Reign of Vengeance. Uh, the skills we're using, Bowlers, Strafe, which you're not going to be using much of. Only for mobility to move through enemies if you need to. But otherwise, you don't really need to use this at all. Sentry, I'll be casting a couple sentries here and there, but you don't have to. Vengeance, you definitely want to activate whenever possible. Reign of Vengeance, super important. Keep casting that at enemies to kill them and spamming bowlers. Spamming bowlers and vengeance. If you want to make this super easy and make it like a two, two button combination on how to complete the challenge rift, spam bowlers, keep casting Reign of Vengeance. And as you keep hitting enemies with bowlers, your cooldown will go down and you just keep recasting your Reign of Vengeance. And companion with wolf companion to add some damage so you come across an enemy if you want to increase your damage wolf companion bowlers you see my uh cooldown went down with reign of vengeance as we keep hitting enemies cooldown goes down make sure that vengeance is active but it's not super important it's not dark heart or seed there it's just the frost rune which i've never used before in my life but it can um it will increase damage so just keep vengeance active whenever it's off cooldown but yeah reign of vengeance mostly and spamming bowlers is all you need to know buff some damage with your wolf companion whenever you want to if you get bored of using only two buttons but if you're new to the game that's the easiest way to do it two buttons bowlers reign of vengeance and keep moving let's go and do this one together And we want to get to the next map. The next map is where it's uh, super juicy. Unfortunately, it's very slow. There's nothing really to increase our movement speed at all. Collect those juicy blue orbs. Stupid wallers. And we keep on moving. Targeting elites, obviously. Is the way to go. Because they give you the juicy, juicy blue orbs. There should be juicy purple orbs, but because it's a challenge rift, they're blue. And remember, when season 28 is beginning, that week, do not complete the challenge rift. Wait until you create your seasonal character. I always remind people... Because you definitely want to get those juicy cash rewards. You can level up every vendor instantly. You get a death's breath. You get some blood shards to use. It's super handy. You definitely, definitely want those juicy cash rewards. The materials that come with it when you create a new character in Seasonal. There have been seasons in the past. Because I do challenge Rift Guides, in the past I have accidentally killed a Rift Guardian. Um, but when it's season time, most likely I won't be doing a guide because I'm just going to, um, save the challenge rift so I don't get confused. Accidentally kill the rift garden and then miss out on those juicy, uh, materials. Alright, lots of enemies here to kill. And there's a power pylon that I sussed out earlier on. Get those juicy blue orbs. Hey, 
Happy V Day, Beamer Bot. Beamer. Now, what I'm going to do is kill enemies, obviously, but I want to try and make my way to the power pylon without trying to run through everything and getting myself in trouble, of course. But it's somewhere here on the left. To the left, to the left. And we should, I'm pretty confident we should clear the entire rift on this level. Alright, where was it? Where was it? Where was that pylon? I thought it was here somewhere. I might be down a bit more. So I only came in real quick to suss out the map. Come up with a route. Still killing enemies along the way. It better be here somewhere. There it is. There it is. So once we get this, we're going to really light it up. And we're going to just keep going round and round and round. And take out any elites that we see. Try and get out of there. Don't want to get caught in explosions or anything silly. And just keep cut, recasting your Reign of Vengeance whenever it's up. Drop a couple um, sentries if you want to. It'll maximize damage output. And very, very shortly we'll be summoning the Rift Guardian. It's not too far off now. There were some more elites up here, I'm pretty sure. Shouldn't need them anyway, but come on, baby. There it is. I'm ready for you, baby. Ooh, watch out for that. Watch out for his arcane balls. And Challenge Rift is done once again. 4.32. Oh, yeah. We're second on the leaderboard. Benix number two. We've beaten Rax. Sorry, Rax. I could go back and get rank one. I honestly think I could, but I'll just take my, um, my rewards. You don't get anything for rank one. You should get like a guaranteed primal as a reward or something like that for getting rank one. But, um, look, first run, rank two. Rax will probably go back and try and get his rank 1. But I'm happy with first run, baby. First run, rank 2. What time did you all get? That's how it's done.